In today's episode, we'll be discussing all the fun stuff related to Iron Day celebrations. We'll also be answering your top questions about the gender war and announcing a brand new game by Alternativa Games. Hello Tankers! Iron Day's festivities have just kicked off in Tanky Online. To celebrate this yearly festival, we've got double battle funds, golds and containers dropping 5 times as often, and 30% discounts on shop items, garage and upgrades. There are also two special value bundles in the shop, one with containers, crystals and supplies, and the other featuring a new animated paint together with containers and crystals. Get ready for an intense weekend! On top of the official celebrations, you can also have fun with a special community contest – Gold Box Selfie. Take a screenshot of your tank with a festive gold box and send it to us. 10 lucky winners will receive a prize of 23,000 crystals and 3 containers. The contest kicks off tomorrow, on Saturday. You'll be able to find all the instructions in the announcement. The link is in the description. The new gender war starts on March 1st. Have you chosen which side you'll be fighting on? Hurry up! Once the war starts, you'll no longer be able to choose. Now let's look at some of the most common questions. Why just an animated paint as a prize? What about containers, skins and all that? All of those things will be in the March challenge. Containers, paints, shot effects and even a new skin. The Gender War is an additional event that ties into the challenge. When you earn stars, you'll be getting prizes from the challenge, but those same stars will also be used for the war. And how will prizes be issued? Will you contact everyone? Of course not. With the start of the event, we will launch the Gender War special site, where you'll be able to monitor the scores for each faction. To choose your reward, you'll need to log into the site with your tanky username and password. Attention! It must be the same account where you bought the paint and will be earning your stars. Every participant should do this, but only those tankers who have contributed the most to their team's victory will receive the prize. The announcement says only players who have scored equal to or more than their faction's average will get the paint. What does that mean? On the Gender War site, you'll be able to see the average number of stars earned by all team members. Your personal score can be found in the usual place in the game's interface, as always. Let's say your faction wins the war with an average of 198 stars and your personal score is 217 stars. This means you'll be getting your chosen animated paint. So I buy the war paint for 5000 crystals. At the end of the event, you'll remove it from my garage. Will my crystals be refunded? No, when you buy the paint, it's like buying a ticket to participate in the gender war. If your side wins, you'll be getting an extra prize on top of your challenge rewards. If your team isn't triumphant, well, you might want to try harder next time. Do I need to keep my war paint equipped throughout the war? No, you just need to buy it. On the other hand, if you buy it and never use it, knowing that it will disappear, where's the fun in that? Which paint should I choose? It's really up to you. You can get the opinions of other players or watch reviews on YouTube. But in the end, it's probably best to do what feels right. Sports news for fans of the XP format. Short Blitz tournaments are being held every week. Are you an XP pro? Give the Blitz a shot. Gather a team of 7 to 10 people and sign up. And if you don't manage to recruit 7 people, you can even merge with other incomplete teams. Check the vlog's description for a link to the forum topic. The next Blitz will be played in Kungur. If you think you're not quite good enough, you can educate yourself by watching the pros. This Sunday, there will be the final clash for the group stage in the Masters of the Sword Clans tournament. The battle will feature Silvers, X Synergy, against Penguins, while the winners of the last clan championship, Eternity Advanced, will compete against Peppers. Watch, support and participate in the Blitz. All the links you need are in the description. Remember a few issues back we asked you to contribute some tips to help newbies? You've sent us a lot of good advice and we've already implemented the first batch in the game. You'll be able to see some of these tips in the game's new loading screen, both in the mobile and the web version of the game. And there are even more useful tips that we still need to implement in the game. Thanks for your help! Video of the week In the last episode, we asked you to send us a video of yourself with the festive gold. There were a ton of entries, but here's our favorite.
For this week, let's keep the same theme, but this time with the Iron Days Festive Gold. Show us an awesome catch! And finally, some unexpected news, something we've never discussed in the vlog up until now. We are working on a new game, and soon it will be entering the testing phase. The game is mobile, and it's called King Hardcore. The first stage of the test will begin soon. We've invited all major tanky YouTubers to check it out. Let's wait for the reviews. That's all, folks. Celebrate Iron Days and choose your paints for the upcoming gender war. They'll be disappearing soon. Bye. A week ago, three tanks with identical hulls but different turrets drove through the stadium map and fired. You had to guess who would finish first. The correct answer is Thunder, option B. Here are our winners, and here's the new question. 